Hi there! Today's tutorial is on a new topic which is pitch. Here is the middle C for your tenor clef and then we count all the way up. A sixth from middle C is A. Moving on with this question, we are required to find the enharmonic equivalent of the given notes. And the given notes here we have is B sharp. So let's take a look at the choices given. The first one is a D double flat, C sharp, and C flat. You can visualize it on the instrument that you play. E is here, B sharp is here. This is B sharp. And then we'll look at the options given. There is D double flat. So D double flat, D, D flat, D double flat. And it ends up on the same key as your B sharp. Okay, but anyway, we are still going to look at the other options given C is here C sharp is here and it does not fall in the same key as B sharp we have C flat C is here C flat is here so it's not the answer either the only viable answer here would be D D double flat for the next question the notes below are transposed a fifth lower and, and we're supposed to determine if the key signatures and the notes are transposed correctly. Let's write down the letter names for each of the notes here. The first note is C natural, followed by E, F natural, and D sharp. Next, we need to determine if each of the notes and the key signatures have been transposed correctly. The original key is in A major because you have three sharps here and when it's transposed a fifth lower it should have been D major. D major comes with two key signatures therefore it's wrong. Next we have a fifth lower from C natural which is F, correct. A fifth lower from E is A, correct. A fifth lower from F is B flat. If you look at the key of F major, B comes with a flat. So this should be the correct answer. I should have included the correct answer for the key signatures as well. It should have been F sharp and C sharp. Finally, a fifth lower from D sharp is G sharp, which is correct. Finally, for the last question, we are asked to compare each of the bars and determine if the statements given are true or false. The first statement says that A and B are the same pitch. So to determine if they are the same pitch, we need to find out the intervals between these notes and the middle C. So for the tenor clef bar here, we can see that most of the notes are around middle C. Whereas for your tribal clef here, most of the notes are an octave higher than middle C. Finally, for the bass clef here, the notes are mostly around middle C as well. Now, we proceed to the statements. The first one says that A and B are the same pitch. So they are not the same pitch because the notes in bar B are generally about an octave higher than the middle C. A is one octave higher than C. Here is a second higher than middle C, second higher than middle C. Therefore, they are the same pitch. So it's a false statement. B is one octave higher than C. So here we have D, an octave higher than middle C. This is D near the middle C. And therefore, this one, it is indeed an octave apart. So true. That's all for today's tutorial on Peach and I would like to thank you for paying attention. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye! Whoops! Bye!